In this video, I'm going to show you how to screen mirror your MacBook display into your smart TV right here. And the coolest part of this is that this is a completely wireless connection screen mirroring and you can actually navigate into the browser as well. You can hop into YouTube and you can actually get your entire screen represented on your smart TV. This is very, very useful when you want to display a PowerPoint presentation or any live presentation into a much larger screen. And do not worry because this works on any smart TV, even if it's a different brand than my brand right here. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror your MacBook into your smart TV right here. And as I've told you guys, this works on any smart TV. So we've got a couple of requirements in here for this to work and the very first requirement is to actually have a Wi-Fi network at your home okay so you need to have a Wi-Fi connection which is normally created by a Wi-Fi router now if you do not have a Wi-Fi connection at home do not worry do not panic because I'll also show you how you can create a virtual network just for you to connect your smart TV into your MacBook device because actually the connection takes place by means of the Wi-Fi connection that you've got at home so the very first thing we're going to be doing in here is actually hopping into the Wi-Fi network settings right here as you guys can see wireless connection and we're going to connect into our Wi-Fi network in my case my Wi-Fi network is this one which is known as home Wi-Fi network as you guys can see right here but in your case if you do not have a Wi-Fi network what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna need an extra iPhone or Android device you just need a mobile phone where you're gonna create the hotspot from your phone and then you're gonna connect this smart TV into that particular hotspot network and this is how it goes for example here I've got in here this iPhone right here I'm gonna be using it as a Wi-Fi router device in this case what I'll be doing here is pretty simple we're gonna tap here on settings and then real quick we're gonna tap here on personal hotspot I'm gonna create a personal hotspot by tapping here on allow others to join and once I create the Wi-Fi hotspot as you guys can see we've got in here the name of my network which is iPhone hotspot this is the network that I've just created my virtual network so I'm gonna quickly connect into this network right here and once we're done connecting our smart TV into that Wi-Fi connection we're gonna connect our MacBook device into the same connection as well okay so here we go I'm already connected into my Wi-Fi network which is known as iPhone hotspot which is my virtual network that we're using to bypass the fact that we do not have a Wi-Fi router connection at home so once we've got both devices connected into the same Wi-Fi network the next step is pretty pretty easy the next step is to actually hop into the app store on your smart TV. So basically all smart TVs do have an app store. They might be having different terminologies, but they have the app store because this is where all the applications are actually downloaded and installed from. So here I am, I've got my app store right here. I'm gonna hop into my app store real quick. And then here, once I'm at the app store, I'm gonna hop into the search button right here and then i'm gonna search for an application so this is the application that is gonna help us mirroring our macbook into our smart tv so here we're gonna search for cast which is c a s and T. I really enjoy using this virtual keyboard from the smart TVs. And then once we're done typing cast, we're going to search for any application that provides us this facility. Basically, depending on your smart TV brand, you might be having different applications, but all of them actually perform the same thing, which is to actually provide you the mirror screening from your MacBook into your smart TV. In my case, I'm going to be using this application, which is the purple application known as Cast. Okay, I'm going to tap on it to download and install the application. Okay, so download whichever application you'll find it, name this cast or something cast like mirror 
Chromecast or Screencast or something like that. And then once you tap on the application, you're going to be seeing an option which says install or update the application if you have a brand new smart TV. In my case, since my smart TV, it's not that new. It's already installed. It doesn't pop up the installation option right there. So once I'm already here on my cast application, we've got in here three options because this works for mobile phones as well as MacBook devices. So we've got in here on the top left corner, cast your phone. And then we've got in here the second option, which is cast your video and then you've got in here an option which says cast your laptop so you want to make sure that we are here on cast your laptop so once we're here on cast your laptop we're gonna double check the device name of our smart tv this is very very important as you guys can see in here i've got in here written device name smart underscore f791 this is the name of my smart tv in here and this is very important because i'm gonna need this on my macbook side so here we go i'm now on my macbook and the next thing we're going to be doing in here is actually tapping here on the top right corner we've got in here the control center as you guys can see now if you guys did not find the control center here on the top right corner make sure you update your macbook device to the latest software version so once we tap here on the control center we've got in here an option which says screen mirror right here okay this is very very visible and easy to find out we're gonna tap here on screen mirroring and then as you guys can see we've got in here the name of my smart tv which is smart fz now f791 we're gonna tap once on the smart f791 device it's gonna take a couple seconds and immediately you'll be having your macbook screened into your smart tv as you guys can see right here and now everything that i'll be doing here on my macbook is gonna be displayed right here on my smart tv this is very very useful if you want to watch movies here by displaying your macbook into your smart tv you can easily connect it by this way and you can actually have the visual representation of your macbook here on your smart tv now if your macbook device doesn't allow you to connect into your smart tv by means of wi-fi connection well i'm going to be showing you a second way of connecting your macbook into your smart tv or any tv by means of cables by means of wired connection so basically in here we're going to need something called an hdmi cable which is an image cable that connects your macbook into your smart tv so basically all smart tvs all tvs do have an hdmi input port and you can actually get this cable by tapping in the link in the description box below so if you have a pretty old macbook version you're going to be having in here an hdmi input port on your macbook in my case i do not have but they have this entrance right here which allows me to connect an external adapter to get my hdmi port connected right here because this is a macbook air it's very minimal and very slim so it doesn't have many ports right here so in case you don't have the hdmi connection directly on your macbook you're gonna need something that looks like this in my case this is the adapter which connects into my macbook by this port right here as you guys can see and then it gives me the hdmi connection right here as you guys can see this is the hdmi port connection right here so the hdmi cable is going to come into this connector right here and then it's going to go to the back of your tv right there at the back we've got an hdmi connection port which is pretty much exactly the same as this port right here so at the back you've got something exactly like this so all you need to buy is just this adapter and the hdmi cable as well i've got both of them linked in the, in the description box below this adapter as well as the hdmi cable adapter and if you have a much newer macbook device like a very late device you might be having a type c entrance on your macbook so if you have a type c you're going to be having a much slimmer entrance than this one but do not worry because i also have the type c to hdmi adapter linked in the description box below as well 
I hope this video has helped you screen mirroring your MacBook into your smart TV. And if you found value here out of my content, consider subscribing to the channel, leave a comment down below and like my content here on YouTube. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.